Hey, what's up everybody? Aaron here once again. Today's story is my NAM experience. The year is 1986. Chicago National Association for Music Merchants Convention. I was 16. If you want to know who, how old I am, do the math. So, my buddy and I, at the time, we were in a band. He was the bass player and I was the guitar player. There was a guitar contest. Karma Lou's House of Music, Cedar Rapids, Iowa. The winner was to take a guest to the NAM convention as a guest, of course, of that particular music establishment, uh, retail establishment anyway. So he wins the contest. He's a bass player. He outplays me. He gets the prize, right? That's fine, because he said, rest assured, if I win, you're going to NAMM. So we went to NAMM. It was awesome. At NAMM, everywhere you look, you look right, you see somebody, you look left, you see somebody. It's all kinds of people. I don't even want to mention any of them. I'm just going to talk about the people that I actually really connected with. So wh while I was there, I had in my mind a plan. I'm going to hang out where the Ibanez area is, okay? And I did. I hung out at the Ibanez area pretty much exclusively and just looked around and seeing if, if I could spot somebody. Well, one particular morning, I was doing my scan, <laughs> and to the right of me was Paul Gilbert, all right? Paul Gilbert was one of my favorites. Um, he would be the reason that I ultimately went to GIT, you know, because he was teaching there and everything. So I see Paul and I go over. He's by himself. Heck, I'm standing there by myself. It's kind of lonely. I figured we'd at least talk, you know, something to do. And he was uh, playing one of the guitars right off the rack and no amp or anything. He was just sitting there noodling around and we talked for about 15, 20 minutes. And um, he was playing uh, with, you know, no amp and everything, and it was unbelievable. It was like crystal clear. That, that was the point where I realized you really got to get your technique up because this guy's not even plugged in, and this guy sounds like a machine. I mean, he sounded like perfect. Absolutely just like his records, no amp, right in your face. It was wonderful. Big wake-up call. And... Um, he was great, sweet guy. So anyway, about an hour goes by. I'm still scanning, hanging out in Ibanez. Look left, look right, kind of like crossing the street, except you're not holding somebody else's hand, right? So, boom, I look left, okay? I see Vinnie Moore. Cool, bonus. Love Vinnie Moore just as much, really, as I did love Paul. Vinnie Moore was beautiful, loved his playing. Unbelievable. And uh, went and talked with Vinny for a while. And he was way cool. Talked to him much to the same, uh, you know, information that I was sharing with Paul about Mike Varney, shrapnel, sending Mike tapes and, you know, trying to pursue something with the instrumental field and everything. And, and Vinny was like, that's great. If that's what you ultimately want to do, that's fantastic. He's just like... I want to, you know, impart, you know, one bit of advice for you, though. Do as I'm, as I say, and not as I'm doing. And I'm 16 years old, shrapnel, you know, guitar player, whatever. I'm like, okay, well, what is this guy possibly going to tell me that I, about what I'm going to do, you know? And he was like, write songs. He said, you know, like songs with lyrics and and melodies and and chords and stuff. And I was like, that's that sounds like Greek to me. And he's like, no, it's I didn't take a limo here. Okay, I I signed my rights, my publishing. I signed most of the money that comes in, I signed off on to not receive, just to be here, just for you to even know who I am, to have even gotten, you know, some 
sort of exposure. And I was like in shock. I thought, what? These guys, I thought these guys are rock stars. They're flying around in jets and stuff. And he's like, no. So I pretty much had to uh, absorb that. And, um, and I did. And he was right, you know, in, in retrospect. But um, it was just really um, unreal experience talking with Paul and talking with Vinny and all. But anyway, I'm rambling, and I just wanted to share that. Uh, and you guys, just good luck on all of your creative ventures. Just, you know, do whatever you feel is best. Me personally, I took the songwriting department, and I focused on that, writing lyrics, writing melodies, and blah, blah, blah. And did it really get me anywhere, ultimately? Um, Exposure-wise, no, it hasn't. Um, the music industry is just... It's pretty fickle. It's it's kind of a club. It's like a clique. You're either you're you're either in the clique ultimately or you're not. And I'm just not in the club yet, but I'm still working on it. And um, you guys take care. Okay. I'm just gonna show you guys the pictures here um, as it's fading out. And until next time, happy shredding. <laughs>